Okay, hi and welcome to the tutorial for Lee's, Lee's Antibot and Bot Sentry combined. For this, for, for this, like how my setup is on 6B, you're gonna want to have it set up already with the Q plugin. Just well, you don't even need the Q plugin, but I recommend doing it with Bungie Cord. You can take Bot Sentry, which is this plugin. You can take Bot Sentry, and there's a spigot version, and you could put it if you have if you don't want a proxy like a bungee cord, and you just want one server that's a Minecraft server, then you could put Bot Sentry on to the main server, and also the Lee's Anti Bot onto the main server. But for this tutorial, I'm doing it with my so it's with a bungee cord and a Q server and an off server and a main server. If you're a premium server, the off server is basically just your main server. But I just have a separate authentication server for off me because then it because off me likes to lag and use a bunch of CPU on the main server, so it's separate. So I'll do this. This first part is going to be for premium, I mean, uh, for crack servers. And the second part, I'm just, I'm just going to show you how to basically use it for a premium server, which is not hard. You just take Lee's Antibot, you put it on the main server, and then you put this on the bungee cord, and then you configure it. But Let's just get to the point. Bot Sentry, the default config is fine. So you don't need to change anything about it. On the authentication server for Cracked or the main server for Premium, we'll go to the plugins folder, the Anti Bot, and the config. And then this is all in here. You'll put your recapture keys here and make sure you set them up right. Then you will take this port and make sure it's forwarded, or you can change the port to one that is. And then this is the Test site right here, like that, and then you can like edit the each website page, right? So you can edit them and change it. Works. Because I have it fucked up. Yeah, there you go. There you go. See, now I passed the test. Now you can now register. Perfect. You can change that to say whatever you want. Um, this is this is for if you don't have really good DDoS protection on the server that you're running all this shit on at first. I recommend you use TCP shield for your Minecraft server and then you get like a VPS or something that doesn't matter to run the what this site to run the, the, the antibot site or the whitelist site so just make this an nginx web server config in slash etc slash nginx conf dot d and then you'll call it like whitelist.conf or something like that but if you know how to do web server stuff I'm not going to get into details on how to do a web server stuff if you need help with that just go to the support discord in the link in the description and I'll help you with that Basically, it all this all together will turn out to be like this, like that. This is six B anti bot, and here's my new account name. Let's do that. I was running six B for the first. This is like the first time this account's been on six B. Log in. It tells you in chat. So yeah, you gotta click that link. You click it, and then, yeah, I'm not gonna type out the name, but you put your username. Put it in there. Boom. Boom. You pass the test, and then I do this, and I go. I registered, and then now I'm in. And now, after a certain amount of playtime, box entry will whitelist the player's IP, and boom. Now, if I'm gonna in the future, I'm gonna be adding support for other capture sites, but for now, it's only recapture. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, like the video if you if it was helped you, and if you like my plugins, like my plugins at all, please leave a good review on them because it'll help me look better like a lot of people use my plugin but they don't leave reviews at all or don't give me feedback please do